Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now it's quite a nice morning this morning, so I thought I'd get this uh, large Cymbidium that needs uh, repotting and splitting, and I thought I'd do it outside instead of in the greenhouse, just to get a bit more fresh air here. And As you can see, this has got two separate parts to the plant, and if I open it up like that, you'll just see there's nothing down the middle one of these little pseudobulbs here all this is growing to this side all this is growing to this side so we'll have to take it down and see what we can do with it well the first thing will be try to get it out of its pot and this will be a real struggle spine stick there put it down somewhere May come, in, may come in handy. Now we're going to split this. I don't know. I think this is when, which is going to have to have. will not pull out at all. So I'm going to have to cut the pot and uh, get it out that way. Can't do anything else. So we've got the secateurs here and I'm going to start cutting right down the pot. I know I'm not facing the camera but uh, the plastic might have gone a little bit brittle but I doubt it. try and split it so I'll do that and uh, we'll come back to you. Well I've cut down both sides with the help of uh, uh, the secateurs and the Stanley, Stanley knife so really if I pull this it should just pull apart. And there's one coming there and then this should just lift out. Yep that's what we've done. So we'll just lift this out. I think the camera might be a little bit too near yet, but I'll just lift it out and then I'll come back. It's a ton weight. There we are. Right. Then we can throw this. Now there you can see the root system on this and uh, as you can see, I mean even from this distance I can see that the uh, the bark is all rotted and broken down. So uh, I'll just have to clean this up and see what we're like afterwards. Well, how I'm going to do this I have no idea. Start at the bottom and work my way through. Yeah, all this this bark is terrible. And this is another of those cases. If I uh, if I stay on camera while I do all this, it's going to be an hour's video, which I know will just get boring for you all. Now the roots on this are excellent. You know, it's a shame that I have to repot it, but uh, there's a lot, a lot of new growth on it. This is going to take quite some time. I just have to keep pulling away at it. As you can see, my hands now are like full of soil. Anyhow, I'll switch off and we'll have a look at it when I've done it. 
Well, I've been at this now for a good half hour and uh, it's still very, very solid in here. So uh, you can see some nice roots here, nice white growing tips on them. But uh, that's just got to be. If we break some of them, we break some of them. But uh, I've got at least another good three quarters of an hour to clean this up. So we'll leave it at that and see how it goes. Well, I can't do much more than this. I've been at it now, oh, at least an hour and a quarter. Plenty and plenty of roots here. Plenty of dead roots as well. So uh, what we'll have to do now is cut off all the dead roots, give it a good washing and get it repotted. And that's about all we can do now. Well, I've had to saw right down the middle and split it into two and uh, makes two very big plants as well. The trouble is finding something to put it back into. So I've been out and I've bought two big pots. Here's one of them. So they can grow into that well and I think they just fit nicely. I'll just try one. Whoops. There you see that's just about going in there. So uh, we'll put these two up separately, give them the same labels, no ID, but we'll give them a number and uh, we'll get them potted up. Now I might be doing things totally wrong here, but uh, I've got to, excuse me, I've got to uh, pot them up in whatever I've got. So what I've put here is a, uh, a lot of uh, bark, uh, it's medium size, and some large coconut husks. And I've also put a good couple of handfuls in of sedge peat, and that's what I'm going to water them in. So I'll just get one potted up now. So we'll put this in first. And we'll start adding. These are big pots, these are, I think they're about uh, 11 inches across, something like that. to say I'm going to put this with the back up against the pot because I just haven't got room for it. So I'll just have to give them as much room as I can. for putting all this lot in. Let's give it a good knock, see what happens.
Right, I think that'll do for that one. And I think it looks much, much better than it did before. So hopefully these will get a good, excuse me, a good watering now. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the next one. I'm going to put some uh, fertiliser in the bark. And what I'm going to put in is some uh, chicken manure, just a handful, just to see if it uh, reacts any differently to this plant. Because they're both the same plant and uh, we'll see which grows the best. Right, we'll do the exactly the same thing with this one. Just a nice fit. And once again we'll fill it up. An awful lot of oil comes in the coconut oil. Bit of pearl light in here as well. As well as the uh, chicken manure. Well that's the other one potted up, so we just put the labels in like I said and I've maybe marked this one with uh, you know CM for chicken manure and uh, we'll see how they get on. They just want to do go watering now and put it in the shade. So thank you very much for watching, uh, it was a bit difficult this one to do, I wouldn't like to do many more of these and uh, until next time once again thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.